Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see another brand new video. So today I got my helper with me. Hi. And we are shopping at Target. So I thought I would bring you guys along, show you what Target has, especially let's see what like the holiday stuff they have out. I have no idea what's in here, but I just wanted to get away. So we drove about 45 minutes just to go to Target. So let's go in. We really for kids to do stop Thanksgiving stuff out so it hasn't completely converted to Christmas <gasps> look at these little Christmas trees though so they have all these different kinds of little trees they're really really cute and then they have a little bit bigger one for $5. The little ones are $3. I think I'm going to get one, though. All right, so I think these are super cute. They have different tops. Silver, gold, look like rose gold, look like white. I think they're really, really cute. I'm not sure if I can pull it off, though. Yeah, it looks like they light up. These are little place card holders, actually, but aren't they so cute? Like make your whole little village they're only a dollar this is like the family pajama section look at they have Harry Potter ones so it looks like there's tons of different kinds ugly pajamas ugly sweaters it's so funny to me that this is a thing Look at these are my favorites. So y'all know I would not come to Target and not look at some Mrs. Meyer stuff, right? Of course not. so glad I found that. I have been wanting to smell this one, the snowdrop, forever. This one, the blue one, snowdrop. It says it has like citrusy floral, I guess you could say, and it really does. It smells really good. I really like it. It's light, but it's good, and I know if I wait come January when I want to put it out on my, um, in my kitchen, like they're not gonna have it. So I definitely had to pick it up now and I picked up my all time favorite which was the Iowa Pine. This is what got me into Mrs. Myers. I loved the Iowa Pine. And I actually used up all the multi-purpose spray like to death. I loved this stuff. And then it's only seasonal and it went out. And I was like, no! And I didn't like a lot of the traditional ones. Um, I really like basil, but other than that, I'm not, um, I don't like the traditional like lemon verbena or um, lavender. So to find the specialty ones is a little bit hard to find, so I'm super excited. Oh, you guys, look at these. Oh my gosh. I'm such a sucker for like canisters like this and things that go on your counters. I think they're so cute. Like. These ones seem like good quality too. I like it. 
Okay, so tell me, is it just me or if something's on the top shelf and you can't see it, does it really bug you? I know not everybody's as short as me because I'm like 5'2", but oh, sometimes I'm like, <laughs> God, I want to look. Look at all this table stuff. And all the serving things. Oh my gosh, I'm such a sucker. I totally blame this on my mom but and my grandmother, but I love dishes and I love serving platters and I do tend to have tons of people over at a time, so I feel like it's always fun. It's so fun. I love all the hearth and hand stuff. I think it's so nice. I mean, of course, everybody loves it, right? Um, it's not, I haven't really like plunged myself into that kind of decorating style yet. A little bit here and there, but not with the traditional hearth and hand stuff. Interesting though, I don't necessarily like the plants, like the fake plants. I'm not a big fan of those, but everything else I really like. I feel like you could go to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, and get much better um, fake plants, but everything else I think is actually really good. Mom, I'm hangry. Why are you hangry? Um, are they stocking the shelves or did everyone take them already? They're stocking. They took all the Halloween out and now they're putting all the Christmas today. Ooh. We have come too early though. It's yeah. Here. <laughs> that means we're just going to have to go come again. you get out of there ay 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 okay so this is the tree that I'm thinking actually it's the last one it's in my cart right now so I've been looking at this tree it's six and a half feet it's flocked it has 250 lights so I probably have to put some more lights on it so you should have a hundred a foot and yeah I really like it it's good it's not really wide it's only three and a half feet in diameter so that'll be good because I really want to put it in my dining room um, so then you can see a glowing Christmas tree out the window so so excited now I gotta wrangle that one though look at guys this just happened in my house Thanksgiving and Christmas next to each other who would have thought all right guys so I'm home I wanted to show you my haul it is late at night. I ended up coming home and um, talked to my mom for like hours. And then Anthony put up this Christmas tree that I got and claims he does not like Christmas, but put this tree up, right? So that is the tree I got. I'll show you more up close, but let me show you what I got on my shopping excursion today. So I did have it all laid out nice. And as you can tell, everything got kind of messed up. So we'll just go around the table and I'll show you what I got. I got these actually from the Bullseye Zone. They were all $5. I thought this would be really cute with some garland around it. They're light up trees. You just have to put batteries in them. They were $5 each. And these two are actually the same, but if you spin them, this one kind of looks a little bit like a barn. So I thought that would be actually really cute. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put these. But I thought even in like, I have some shelving and stuff. I thought they would look really cute and I could make like a little scene. So that would be good. This is some necessities. So I just needed some um, dishwasher pods and I needed some uh, laundry soap just to get me through until I went to Costco and got a huge thing. Um, this actually got at Walmart, but I was out here showing my mom. This is like the ribbon that I got for um, my tree over here. I kind of want to make it like a woodsy type of a tree. So we'll see how that comes together. And I will, of course, film it for you guys because I love Christmas. <laughs> this is actually a sweater that I got for my little guy. Um, barely Christmassy. I think that it would be a really good um, sweater for December to wear to church. 
Plus, I might have him do Christmas pictures in it. I'm not 100% sure, but I thought like the ties up here are really cute. So this is a coat. Um, it looks like this. And it's um, supposed to be like water resistant, wind resistant. It's really warm because of this thing inside. And he actually put it on and like almost was like, mom, this is too warm. But when he puts it on, it looks really sleek and nice. And we have more of an issue here where I live with rain than anything else. So um, it doesn't get super cold or anything. But I thought this would be a nicer jacket than just having like a sweater or anything like that. This was a little more expensive than I thought. It was actually $29. I thought that it was $24.99. But um, $29, I guess. Um, I got these little tins at the Bullseye Zone. They were both a dollar. And I just thought like I could do something really cute with them. I don't even know. I actually think like you could put candy. You could put, um, I don't know, gift exchange. I think I'm kind of going to, I think I'm actually going to use them, but we'll see. Uh, these were 50% off, so I just grabbed a thing of pencils. Um, I actually grabbed these for my tree because it's like a woodsy tree. And I thought it'd be fun to like write some stuff maybe. Um, I actually got this as a stocking stuffer. This was $3, so I think this will be really cute. It just looks festive, so I thought that would be fun. These were both sticker packs that were a dollar. And I thought this would be really cute because I usually make cookies and... I just thought this would be cute to put on um, things that I send to my mom and my in-laws. Um, you saw these trees that I got there as well. Not sure where these guys will end up, but I really like them. The ones I ended up getting, there's a bunch of different kinds, and they have different wrapping on the bottom. The ones I ended up getting had a little bit like of a shimmer, and I really liked that. So that's why I got those. So you guys know I never go to Target without looking at the cleaning stuff. And I love Mrs. Myers. I love putting the set like this, the soap and the, the dish soap and the hand soap next to each other um, by my sink for all the seasons. The bad thing about Mrs. Myers, if you don't get it when it's in the store, it goes like that. The last time I went to Target, I tried to get fall scents. They were gone. So I said, you know what? It's not happening to me this winter. And so this is technically my December uh, little scent that's going to go by my um, sink in my kitchen. And then this is my January. So this is Snowdrop, and it smells really good. My husband, in fact, was like, why did you buy two? I can't believe that. And then he smelled them, and he was like, all right, I get it. And I explained to him, yeah, you don't know, you can't guarantee you're going to get them online and you can't guarantee that they'll be in the store. So I just got two sets of each and we're set for ever now, I feel like. <laughs> so for a good long while, actually. This, guys, is my new tree. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's not going to stay here. I had it in this corner. I'm moving things around. Isn't he so cute? Oh my gosh. Follow me on Instagram and you'll see this tree all decorated. I really wanted to have two trees. I really wanted to have a tree in the dining room. And because we homeschool, like there's tons of homeschool stuff in here. This is where I spend a good majority of my day. Like a really good majority of my day. And you know what? I love Christmas and I don't care. I just want a tree that I can see all the time. I love the way it looks. I love Christmas lights. I just have really, really good memories about it. So it's just something that makes me happy. And I thought, you know what? This year, Thanksgiving is a little bit later. So I wanted to put my Christmas up earlier because I really wanted to enjoy it. We go through all this trouble and we spend hours making our house look nice and doing all this. And then to keep it up for like a couple weeks and I was like, eh, I want more so I'm gonna have more I don't care and my neighbors can think I'm crazy and look in the window and see a tree and that's all right but I love this tree I love that it's flocked I've never had a flock tree I do see that they make kind of a mess but that's okay and we are going to love it anyway and I think it will turn out really really good I just wanted more Christmas throughout my house and I have a lot of homemade stuff. My mom always makes me stuff. My grandma made stuff for years. Um, and I really wanted to have 
more in my house and that's why I really wanted to have two trees because I don't have necessarily like an open floor concept so I spend so much time in this room probably five to six hours a day in this room in this dining room so I wanted to have a tree to look at thank you guys so much for coming over for hanging out with me today for going shopping with me today and I I'm so excited about my new Christmas tree. I'm so excited that I have two Christmas trees, technically three, shh, don't tell my husband. And it's gonna be so much fun. I hope this video was inspiring. I hope it motivated you to kind of get you in the spirit and wanna decorate your home. And I will bring you along on all my adventures to decorating my entire house this year. I'm so excited. Thank you all for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next brand new video. Bye for now.